Carol, are you okay, e even though your sword's still broken? Nah, it's lighter and feels easier to use. Now your sword won't be swinging you anymore. Sounds good to me. Breaking your sword to get it to just the right length. <laughs> You're obviously some guild's ace. Yuri, you didn't break Carol's sword on purpose, did you? <laughs> I'm not that good. This Carol guy is kind of weird. He does seem a bit restless, but that doesn't make him a bad person. He doesn't seem evil, but I'll bet he's got some weird thoughts going on in his head. You're only saying that because you can see some of yourself in him. You think the two of us are alike? Yes. It's like you have genuine emotions, but your pride won't let you show them. So I can't bring myself to dislike him. Huh. Did I upset you? No, that's just some pretty deep insight about people you only just met is all. Hey! I can't wait until the tree's blossoms are in full bloom. They'll be fantastic. I bet there's a flood of petals big enough to just sweep you away. All those petals dancing in the breeze. It'd be like a dream. I wonder how they deal with all their houses getting buried in flowers every year. That's gotta be a pain to clean up. You really take the fun out of things, Yuri. Estelle, what are you looking at? It's a map of the area around here. Oh, let me see. Hey, this is almost completely blank. You can't call this a map. Really? You should try a surveyor's guild like the World Cellar. Their maps are really amazing. All the top guild members have one. So then naturally you've got a copy, right, Carol? Let's see it. Uh, well, you see, once you get as good as I am, you don't need to use a map anymore. Oh, that's too bad. I really wanted to see it. 